above their shirt. Hashtag Ali Butt Fanboy. <laughs>
like almost I like we we first were introduced to Rithic, obviously. Right. Like, we saw whoa, Rithic first. His fluidity, fluidity is incredible. It's what blew and our then mind. We found out where he got it. Right. <laughs> exactly. Which is which is which, is which is even it's still um it's still extraordinary to me because Prabhu has the fluidity, but Prabhu doesn't have the physique that Rithic does. No, He's yeah. long, mm -hmm. but Rithic has had to carry the fluidity. We've met, mentioned this many times where when you watch Rithic dance, he is the most muscular dancer I've seen be fluid, and you you agreed. Yeah. Uh, and and guaranteed, when we started to see Prabhu after we watched Rithic, we're like, there's no way that fluidity isn't a direct result and prominent, probably predominantly from the work of, of Prabhu working with him. And that's what I, I that, if I could ask Rithik one question, I would ask him that question, is would you attribute your fluidity directly to the work you've had to do with Prabhu? Mm -hmm. I, I can't imagine he wouldn't say that's, and absolutely. And it was also very interesting to what he said. It, it makes sense that from what we've seen from Prabhu is the, he says he, he'll improv just a yeah, lot. He's so he's like, creative. He, he's such a imagination. He's like, uh, we need something here. Uh, how about whatever he does? Yeah, <laughs> and it, it makes sense because like a lot of his choreography is so ridiculously creative, creative, and stuff you've never seen before, stuff you never think about cer doing certain what, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> whatever he does, it's, it's, but it works. It's why I think on a couple of reactions, at least one, I've pointed out that he reminds me a lot of Bob Fosse because Bob Fosse changed the whole idea of what jazz was about. And fussy, was, fussy, 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 fussy one, fussy, fussy two, Uganda, Uganda. Um, he, Fosse... <clears throat> That's what I really think of whenever he... I know, me too. I, I do too, I always. And he, Fosse really changed everything about jazz and he was so creative mm -hmm. and really could come up with brand new things all the time that had a very particular thing that you'd watch it and you'd go, oh, that's Fosse, that's his style. And he too was a brilliant dancer. If you've not seen Bob Fosse dance in some old Hollywood films he was in, he was an incredible dancer. And that's the thing about Prabhu is that he just seems to have an endless resource in his imagination to create choreography. I just feel like the guy just is endless, never gets bored or repetitive in his choreography choices. Oh, absolutely. And we've seen him from his early work and now I think the latest thing we saw was probably the ABCD, mm. right? I think so. Yeah. Yeah. Where we, where we said that people said that was some of the comments were look at Prabhu. He's a much older man now, but he's still knocking it and still doing a great job. Which is still incredible to have that much fluidity. And Absolutely. Be able to dance at, I, at that age. Because I'm, I'm assuming, as you would know, your body tenses up and it changes. It just gets fat and yeah, ugly. It, 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 <laughs> well, not for most dancers, <laughs> but one of my favorite dancers of all time was Mikhail Baryshnikov. And Who's he's. That? I'm not a dancer, Rick. Why would I know that? Who is he? Just because, like, for example, if I mentioned Gene Kelly. Yeah, I know Gene Kelly. There you go. Yeah, who's this? What M was he in? M M <laughs> Mikhail Baryshnikov is considered by most. There are other names that are in this category. There's probably only three men who people in the world of ballet would say are the greatest ballet dancers of all time. That's why I don't know. I yeah. know nothing about ballet. You actually probably do know Baryshnikov, you just don't know that you know him. Mm. Uh, he's done a lot of different films. He hasn't been around a lot because he's now, I think Baryshnikov is in his 70s. Mm. But he came onto the national spotlight in America during a film back in the 1970s called The Turning Point, mm. where he plays a dancer. It was his first big film and he made uh, big headlines because he not only was in that film, he defected from the then Soviet Union. Oh. Yeah. Which was a big <laughs> oh. deal. Yeah. <laughs> and he left the Soviet Union. And then after the Soviet Union collapsed, he then went back and actually became the head of the ballet in Russia. and. But as he aged, he never stopped dancing and found it a great challenge and didn't understand ballet dancers who stopped dancing. Mm. Because just because you have the limitations, for him, he found it to be a new breakthrough in his ability to push himself beyond his limitations. He has an amazing piece that I think is just called Heartbeat, where he has electrodes connected to his body. And while he's on stage, the only thing he's dancing to is the rhythm of his heart. Dang. And it's an improv contemporary dance. That's awesome. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah. So Baryshnikov is the perfect example of any artist who has been told you have to stop at a certain age. He was like, no, I'm not. I'm dancing till I die. Wouldn't it have been incredible to, I know they've met, but they'd watch Michael and Prabhu dance together. Yeah. That would have been cool. I, I guarantee Michael probably was of the opinion, this is a guy, sincerely, 
this is a guy I want to learn from. Mm-hmm. This is a guy who can stretch. I me. think he's choreographed Michael's performance. I, I think before. that's true too. I believe I've heard that from you guys. Uh, so double check and let me know for sure. Yeah. But I believe he did choreograph for Michael. Yeah, I, he's definitely someone I could see Michael looking at and going, I could learn from that guy. Mm-hmm. Which there's not a lot of people that <laughs> Michael would say that about. One or two. <laughs> maybe, maybe two or three people yeah. who both in the dance and the musical side of things, Michael would say, I could learn from you. Yeah. But, um, but yeah, that, yeah. Was, that was awesome. If there's more, uh, especially longer ones that uh, go a little more in depth, we like hearing, you know, yep. people's experiences with yep. other legends. So let us know that in the comments. Thank you.